Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yukaso. Today we are at Kojia Station, which is an area that is really close to Haneda Airport. So some of you may recognize it from your trips to Haneda. Anyway, I'm here today to have a look around and see what's here. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. So I just got this banana custard crepe and I know they're not Japanese but I know they're very popular in Japan and I know in particular in Harajuku they are very popular there so I was kind of surprised to find one here today but I'm really excited to try this because I've never tried it before and I've heard so many good things. Look how beautiful this is first of all. Alright here we go. Itadakimasu. So I just took a little bite of it and I got a mouthful of custard and the custard is so delicious. It's so sweet and thick, it's so nice. The crepe itself is like really, really thin. So when I bit into it, I almost didn't even realize that I bit into the crepe. I thought I just got a mouthful of custard and then afterwards I realized like, no, the crepe was there too. I'm gonna take another bite to see if I can get some banana. But this is a little messy, but it's delicious. So it is worth it, okay. Here we go, bite number two. <laughs> mm. This is so delicious. I can't believe it. I think banana and custard are like a really simple combination. Simple but effective. Really so good. They had a bunch of other flavors there as well, both sweet and savory. So some of the sweet flavors were chocolate banana, uh, blueberry cheese, rum raisin which we actually nearly got but we changed our mind last minute they also had savory flavors uh like ham and cheese you could have them hot you could have them cold it's delicious <laughs> i think i'm going to be sharing the rest of this with taro because it is a lot but it is really good if you're looking for something sweet this is what you need to get so you can see right behind me there is a shopping street here and it's really not far from Koja station at all. You can walk here in maybe like 50 seconds, like not even a minute, it's that close. So I'm really excited to walk down here and see what they have. Let's go. This shopping street isn't very big, it's actually quite small, but I really love it. It's got a really cozy, wholesome vibe and I love seeing the lines across the top. I, I just love that. I love that part of Japan. <laughs> I just got some garlic chicken from this very famous bento store behind me and this was only 140 yen. So that's a really good price. Also, I saw the bento in there and you get a large amount of food for such a small price and they had all different types in there. So I think next time I want bento, I'll probably come here and see if I can get some. But anyway, let's try the garlic chicken. Itadakimasu. Mm. That is so crunchy. <laughs> wow. I feel like these days it's really rare to find crunchy fried chicken. Usually it is on the softer side. So I absolutely love this and the garlic flavor is perfect. It doesn't overpower the chicken at all, but you can taste that it's there. And it's so crunchy, it's so good. Okay, I'm having another bite, here we go. This is delicious. This is so good. I had no idea I wanted this today, but I guess I did. It's so, so good. I still can't believe how crunchy it is, and I love the garlic flavor. Absolutely love it. I 100% recommend you try this. At, and at 140 yen, there's no excuse. It's great. This store has really, really good prices, so I am 100% coming back next time, and I'll probably get some bento. So when you walk down some of the side streets in this area, they are so beautiful and so peaceful. And it's just a really nice way to just have a nice walk and clear your head. 
it's got a really good atmosphere in this area. So Mr. Donut is selling Pokemon donuts, which I think they do pretty much every year because I know they did the same thing last year as well. I got this really cute Pikachu snowman and I believe it's meant to be white chocolate and whipped cream and I'm really excited to try it. Okay, here we go. So cute. All right, itadakimasu. It's so windy today. So anyway, I've taken a bite. I didn't get any cream in the ear, but the white chocolate is the icing on the top and that is delicious. And the donut is very soft. I mean, if you know Mr. Donut, you know the donuts there are always good. You'll never be disappointed. And I'm certainly not today. Okay, so let me see if I can get some of the whipped cream. How do I, maybe if I, maybe if I bite his cheek, <laughs> I feel mean. Okay, here we go. His cheek popped off, but it landed perfectly <laughs> in the container, which is cool. I still didn't manage to get any cream because I think it is right there in the middle. I'm trying to think how I can strategically bite this so I can get the cream. Okay, let me try again, last time. I'll take a big bite. Mmm. <laughs> this is delicious. This is so good. If you have coffee, best combination with this, definitely black coffee. Oh, it'd be so good with this. I feel guilty though, because Pikachu or Snowman Pikachu is very, very cute and I've just completely destroyed his face. <laughs> but it's really delicious. So they also had a regular yellow Pikachu and I believe that one was whipped cream in the center and custard on the outside. And they also had some of their famous ring donuts there as well, but like Pokemon versions, I suppose. So yeah, make sure you check those out before they run out. So this area we're in is actually right next to Korgia Station and it's a really spacious area that you can use if you wanna sit down, call someone on the phone, or like we've been doing, which is eating. Because this area is quite small, you can venture down the shopping street grab something and then come here and eat it because the distance is not very far at all. Another thing to mention is we are here on a Sunday and unfortunately that means some of the shops here are closed. Also, a lot of them don't open until the afternoon. So if you're thinking of coming this way, I would suggest coming more in the afternoon and not so much in the morning. In the morning, you're gonna have people here doing their grocery shopping and things like that. And the restaurants and food areas aren't really going to be open until the afternoon. So just a few things to keep note of. Uh, but other than that, it's really nice here. It's very quiet, it's very cozy. It's definitely got like a nice family atmosphere. And I'm enjoying myself so far. But we've still got a lot to explore because the shopping street is actually split in two by a big road. So it's not all of it. Just if you see what I mean. So in order to experience the whole thing, you do have to cross the road and then go to the other side of it as well. So let's check that out now. I have sasa mochi here. And so sasa, I believe, is the bamboo leaf that's covering it. And I guess it's antibacterial and really good for preserving things. And then the actual mochi is yomogi mochi. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, let me, oh, here we go. All right, it's actually a beautiful color. All right, itadakimasu. Mmm. This is delicious, by the way. <laughs> this is really good. The uh, red beans inside are really sweet and the mochi is really soft and it's not too chewy either, which I really like. Sometimes I find it a little bit hard to eat things that are really, really chewy, but this is good. This has the perfect consistency. And can we talk about how beautiful these colors are with the green of the mochi, the green of the leaf, and then the red of the beans inside? I think it looks absolutely beautiful. This is delicious. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna eat some more. Mmm, <laughs> what is she? Mmm, natural is she? 
This area is absolutely lovely. They have really relaxing music playing in the background. Everybody's cycling by. There are families here and it's just really calm and quiet. There's also quite a few restaurants, grocery stores, flower shops. Like I said before, it's probably best not to go on a Sunday in the morning like we did because not much is open, but it was still really lovely here today. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite shopping street is in Japan and why, because I like so many of them, but I really like this one because it's so peaceful, which is a bit of a difference from some of the previous shopping streets we've been to. But anyway, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.